Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Satisfactory. So after a brief interlude where we have just gone and had a little bit of wandering round, it's time to get back to work, so let's get back to it. Our next option, which is this. I'm going to go up like that, and then I'm going to put foundation here, and then I'm going to do the same again. Foundation, and I go up again, like that, and then I go with a foundation here. You should be familiar with this by now, we've done this many times. And then we'll go up here, and that's blowing a load of smoke at me. I don't want it to blow a load of smoke at me. So I'm thinking that we will come back down over to here and I will dismantle some of this and we'll go up steeper still. I can do that. I can remove both of those. And that one, uh, that one up there and that one there. And then I can come down here and I can go simply like this. And put that one to there and then I can go up and put that one on there and then that and now I'm gonna need to go across by two otherwise I'm not gonna be able to get that conveyor belt to go across so I need to go like that and then so but he did tell me a way that I could do this like I can go straight up a steep ramp I don't uh, I'm gonna try this I'm gonna rem I'm gonna I'm gonna do this you, you put the thing out to the side you put the conveyor belt down and then you can remove the ramp afterwards so we'll do it like that I think I put that one up there. I'm going to keep going up. I want to go up a bit higher yet. I want to get up above the, the smoke lines. If I can get up above them, I think that would be pretty cool. Put that one in, and then another one up here. I don't know why it's constantly putting that one the wrong way round. And then up again. Ramp up there. Right, is that high enough? We'll go up one more, I think. There he is. It's pretty close to us up here. That is pretty close to us up here. Let's have a look at that. There's the smoke. It's it's just kind of coming up through, really. I'll go up one more. Take up... Uh, we'll put down another ramp there like that. And then I go on a little bit further. Right. So now I'm all the way up here and... I'm still not fully above the smoke, but I'm further above it than I was. I am wondering about going all the way back over there and just putting a straight ramp all the way out. Whether that would be a better thing. Probably would be, actually, now that I think about it. Still, we're, we're done. We've, we've done it like this now. So that one can go along here, and I'm just going to keep traveling in this wise direction until such time as I run out of concrete. Then we'll go and get a little bit more concrete, and then we've got to bring stuff down from up here. I don't know how high a... Oop. I'm getting a little bit of lag in the game today. So, there are some strange things happening to me. I'll bring you over this way. Keep going. Yeah, and further do I want to go? I'm, I'm going to stop there a second. There's... Ooh. This isn't actually where I want to stop. Um, no, there's one thing that I want to test out. How high can you go with the conveyor lift? Right, we use the Mark III lift when we're doing things. That's the full height there. That right there is full height. Because I don't need this... Um, ramp to come back down again. I only need it to come up to however high it's going to get to. Steady. Right. So as I don't need this one to come back down again, I've only got to get it to the edge there and then drop it down far enough to um, get the all the resources down. So I can I'll deal with that in a second. I need to go and get a little bit more... Actually, the concrete's just down here, isn't it? 
I got some concrete down over here. Let's go over here like this. And then I can come down under here like this. A hop, skip, and a jump over that way. It's amazing how far the belt throws you when you're jumping around, isn't it? It really is. It's absolutely cool. Um, right, I'll take... I'll just take two stacks of that. I'm not going to take any more of that because I actually need to have a little bit of room for some of the steel bars that I'm going to want. Which, there's none in there. Oh, that's the pipes. It's these that I want. Here. That lot. Right, that, that'll do for a second. That'll keep us going. And then I'm going to come back over. How much of it? Um, oh, i got plenty of those. It's tests that I want to run a minute. There's another test that I want to run, and I want to find a nice right-angled corner to do this, and a short-length belt to do this as well. So I'm going to go up onto here like this, and then I'm going to go with in here. I don't have the belt actually out at the moment, so I will go there. Conveyor belt mark one. That goes all the way around there. That is... 480 per minute. Now, apparently, it does indeed throw you off the edge of the belt. And it throws you right off the edge of the belt. Right, I try and jump. Those belts are a bit of a nuisance. There is a thing that you get in Factorio that allows you to ignore the belts. And it's a really, really good little module that you can add in. Sort of like, you know, you get the jetpack in this game. Um, which we will be getting soon. Very soon, by the way. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's a belt immunity system. And it's such an awesome idea. A belt immunity system. It's, it's brilliant. You can ignore the belts. So I'm going to have to bring that one out from there. I may as well bring it over here like this. You know what? I'm just going to ignore that one. I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to place the conveyor pole right there on that side like that. And then I'm going to go from in here and drop that out there onto there. So, yeah, it's a little bit wiggly as it comes out on that bit, but there's not a lot that we can do about that because of the angle that it's coming off of. And then this one here, we just run along here like this, and it goes there like that. Nice and easy. Right, now I run on to the next bit. And I bring you to there, and then the next bit where I'm going to go to the bottom of that ramp. And then the next bit, going up this ramp. Cannot go high enough, but it does actually allow me to put it onto the ramp. Right, it's 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 letting me connect it in part way up the ramp, which is quite cool. I think it would do that. And then that goes up onto there, like that. So then you've got it coming up through. So it's got a little bit of a, a kink on there, on that bit, but then it, it just keeps on going. Yeah, everything's fine there. So then we go from that point and we run all the way along here. As far as we can. To that point there. And then I go out on again. I'm going to need to use a little bit of the concrete to make another ramp. We go, The ramp's got to go on a little bit further. I don't know how much further, but it will need to go on a little bit further than we are right here. So... Let's start building that one out. Definitely got to go a bit because of what's down below us. We've got the all the gas stuff down below us. So we, we kind of need to get on past all of that at least. There. How are we doing now? It's probably about right, actually. We drop it down here. Um, yeah, I've got the Caterium wire that's being produced in there. And we'll sort of use up some of that area. I can put some of these fuel refineries here and then the fuel stations will go down there, the, the, the fuel power stations, and then I can extend that out that way as far as, it, well I, I will be able to extend it out that way a little bit. Some of these big stones I don't think we can actually get rid of them and I don't think like the, the gas stuff I'd like to be able to terraform those out the way, 
That would be a very, very awesome feature, is if we could terraform stuff completely out of the way, and then we wouldn't have to worry about it. Now we go over here, and we go for a little bit more belt. You up this way. Onto that bit, and then finally, I will bring you up to that end there like that. Okay, next, I want to take in here. I'm going to conveyor lift mark three, and you go down like that. Right, well, I can bring that up, but I've got to get the lift down there. This is where I could do with one of these parachutes that I've heard so much about, because then I could just parachute my way down instead of falling and dying. Falling and dying doesn't really appeal to me, it's got to be said, I and mean, I know that... Um, There are other ways to get down, but... Yeah. Parachute. We'll we'll try that parachute in a bit. Down here. Wow. Right, don't jump down a ramp. Can I get across there? Oh! No, I cannot get across there. <laughs> Only just, but no, I can't do it. I can't get across there. That is in the wrong spot for us to be able to get through. So I'm going to go back over this way. We're going to go up here. Bounce our way back through here. And right, I need there some fabric. That's what I want. And there, I want to go into here. No, it's not in there, is it? It's in here, for parachute, isn't it? Parachute right there. Those and cable as well, right. Make a parachute. Uh, that gives me five parachutes. Right, now, the problem with the parachutes is that you've got to actually have them equipped, haven't you? So you, you kind of need to plan a power. You can't use it for emergencies because you've got um, you, to have it there ready to use, like, instantly. So I'll just do that. I've got, I'm going to take... So it's down your fall when activated in midair and you press space to activate it. All right, if I come out over here, I may as well do another jump test over here like this. All right, I'm pressing space. That didn't work. I didn't do anything. I've got them in my bag, but they didn't do anything. So we do actually need to have them equipped to be able to do anything. So if you want to get, you use them to get down from somewhere as a plan, it's a contingency plan, but it doesn't actually work to save you when you're in a tight spot. Or at least not if you're using those, because you need to put the parachute on there like that. Right, now in theory, there, I press spacebar, and there's my parachute. Right. I can still run around and jump, like I would normally, but I'm now running slowly. So the parachute is a handy thing. I can use it to get through a few things, but... It doesn't seem to be the be-all and end-all. There's, there's definitely some issues with it. No, I got down from over there. I actually want to go all the way back over there, don't I? I've got materials. I do have the materials that I need. So I'm going to go up this way. I can't jump across. You know what? Why not? Why can't I get straight across here? I've got the materials that I need. There is no reason to suggest that I cannot do it. There. See? Who says I can't? There. Now, I can run up over here. We've got the oil is going all the way up to the end over here. And I can run all the way down over here. How long does the parachute last? That's the next thing we're going to find out. I'm going to equip it, and then I'm going to jump. And uh, just run and jump off the edge up here. And then I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna see. We'll find out what happens. So, we want to go... There, like that. And then jump like that. And then I've equipped it. Right. Parachute is on. I do get to steer while I'm falling. And I don't see a timer anywhere. That seems pretty good. Right. So i got three of them left. That seemed pretty good. It's a good way to get down from up there, at least. That, that was a handy little trick to have. 
Uh, next up, let's go to a U in here, conveyor lift mark three, and I want to grab that one, and I'll bring you down. Right, so that's where we need to go with a... Uh, i got to meet, meet that one up with something. Actually, can I do it like this? Put another one on there, and then bring that one down here, like this. just have it like that. I can! Oh, that is fantastic! You can actually join them together. So you can just hook several of them together in order to get them to run properly. That is really awesome. Right? That is genuinely fantastic. That is amazing and brilliant and wonderful. And I'm very pleased about it. So I've got that bit. Next up, I want to go back up here. I need to remove the fuel refinery that I've just gone and put together up there. And we're going to go and build that one elsewhere. And then we're also going to build some other bits and pieces as well. So this one over here, it doesn't have a lot in it. It's got 100 fuel in there. I've got enough room to remove those. Let's go to that. Take them out. I think I've got enough room. Uh, that's pushing it for space, that is. That is definitely pushing it for space. And then I can go over to here. Ah, now I've run out of space. I have run out of space completely. I've got 46 computers there. 45 of those. A load of these. And these. It's the Caterium wire that I'm really using up a load of space on. Uh, I've got five of them and two of them. You know what? These parachutes can go now. So there's two of those in there and five of those in there like that. I'm not going to pick anything else up for a second. I'm going to go back up over this way very quickly. And I'm going to see about getting this next um, milestone, the jetpack. That's the one that I want to get next is... So many people told me the jetpack is such a really wickedly cool thing to have. So it's the one that we should be using. So I will put those in there, and then I'll put the computers in there, and I will put the heavy modular frames if I can find them. I've got some somewhere. Haven't I? Oops. Sort. There. Right there in the middle. Right. I need to get another 50 of the motors. Oops. That way, all the way over into that one. 50 motors, and then i got to get uh, some more of these. Right, well, the computers, they're in here. There's another 50. I should take all of them. Take the whole lot. It's nice that we're making them this fast, right? It is, it's really cool that we're making them this fast. And then we can come bouncing back over this way, and we need to go in here and get these. 39 of those. It's not very many. If you oh, I'm waiting on the, the steel right there. That steel. And the reason I'm waiting on that is because I took the boosts out over there, so I'm not... Pro oh. Well, no, those still seem to be running. It's simply this one over here is not producing fast enough. 37.5 per minute. Yes. That has slowed down. It's definitely slowed down. Oh, well, right. There's nothing that we can do about that. We will come over this way. I need another 50 of these there. And that will be everything that I need from here. Take that and put that onto there. There we go. So I've now got a full stack of those. All right. I've, I know I'm carrying a load of rubbish that I don't actually need to be um, carrying around with me at the moment. So, well, some of it is rubbish that I don't need to be carrying. And some of it is stuff that I do actually want to be carrying. For the most part, generally what I'm carting about is rubbish. Uh, I don't need to be carrying it all. Then we can go up here. And we can go skipping through here. The refinery, that's the other bit, is... How much are they all? I've forgotten now. Uh, the fuel generator there requires 10 of the frames. And then production down here, oil refinery, that requires 4. So I do need to... I need to get those um, steel tubes going a bit faster. 
Definitely need to get a few more of them going, right? You can go into there and you and you finish that stack up and then that one there. I've only got nine of these. I don't have enough to build even one um, fuel refinery at the moment, but I do have the jetpack. R&D inflated your pocket dimension and has provided a jetpack which operates on oil-based fuel for increased navigational capabilities as well as odds of survival. Okay, right. So if I got the jetpack, does that mean that I don't need the blade runners? Do I not use the blade runners anymore? Let's have a look. Show only affordable recipes. I don't want to do that. Uh, jetpack down here here can't afford i need oh i need a load of rubber for that and i need circuit boards here 15 of and then here i need plastic right well i can go and make those and make them myself so what do I, I need 50 plastic i need 15 circuit boards circuit boards are not too bad i'll go and make some of those right now i'll make some circuit boards in here where are we? Circuit board, right there. And that requires plastic. Need to make some plastic. Oh, I need to make some rubber as well. What is this? How many bits of rubber do I need? Let's have a look. Oh, I'm already looking at it. Uh, I need 50 pieces of rubber, which is 50 bits of oil. So we'll go and do that first. All the way down through here. Oil, rubber. I need 50 of these. So first up, let's make 50 of these. 20, 30, 40. Right, that's 52. A little bit too many on there. And then I want to make a load of plastic. To make all the rest of this into plastic, I think. I don't think I need just any plain oil, do I? I think, I think that I'm, I'm using that all right. So I've got not enough of those. I don't have any of those either. Let's go back into... Nope, not into that one. I need circuit boards now. Which I need... I've got plenty of wire for that, but I need I need some more oil. To go and get some more oil. Now, the quickest and easiest way to get the oil is not actually to pick it off the line. Right? Because... Well, I suppose I could just do it like that, and I can um, mash the E key like that. If you press and hold, that doesn't work. So I do it like this. Now, I'm going to pick up a hundred of these. There. When I get them here. Come on. 80, 90. Right, we've got just over a hundred of them, and then I will run back over here and we'll finish manufacturing these items. Oh, no, that's the, the um, power thing on that side. I wonder why it was flashing at me. It's okay. We don't need to worry about it. Now we go back down here, and I will go to plastic. I'll make more plastic. Like that. There's another... Actually, I need 50 of them just for the thing, and then I need more to make the circuit boards, don't I? So I'll make everything that I can with that. And then I go up a little bit and I'll make some circuit boards. It was 15 circuit boards, if I remember correctly. So I'll make enough to those. There we go. Right, I'll do those in pairs anyway. Oop. Steady. Right. Yes, 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 and yes, and craft. A jetpack, at long last, is finally within our grasp. There, look at this beauty. So I want to have a look at it. Okay, so... Nope. Here. I want to go like that. I've got 120 fuel in there. Jetpack goes on the body like that. And I got 120 fuel right there. How much fuel does this thing use? Slower on the ground. But then I'm able to do this. And it glides. And then it comes back down. Okay, big question. If I go right up like this until I run out of fuel. And then I glide. Uh, apparently I don't glide enough to be able to um, live. Apparently life is not something that I'm allowed to have. So it seems alright, but uh, honestly I'm thinking this jetpack seems a little bit slow. 
I'm, I'm able to run around faster with the, the, the jump things. Let's go and get all of our gear, shall we? Grab all. There. And now I want to go here. So I've, those blade runners... Right, honestly, I put these on. And that's how fast I'm running with those blade runners on. Then I put these exoskeleton for your lower legs. The assist movement allowing you to sprint faster, jump higher, dampens landing. Then I go into this one. Allows you to move more freely in the air. Consumes fuel when used and refills from your inventory when you're on the ground. Right. But I'm now slower. Right, honestly, I'm... I'm now slower and I've got to keep running down to the ground. I don't like this. I thought that it would be, like, a really cool upgrade to have this jetpack. And honestly, I don't think it is. I jump down onto the ground. I'm able to at least slow myself down a little bit when I'm doing things. And... Jump up over here. Oh, dear. Well, that isn't where I wanted to respawn. I mean, yeah, admittedly, I probably should have eaten a little bit before I left. So let's go in here a second. And, you know, what? I'm not going to take those. I'm going to take these. There, like that. And go like that. Eat a load of these down, like that, and then jump back into here. Remove. And put them back in there, like that. Right. So there's that bit. Yeah, I'm not that impressed with this one. The jetpack, I mean, it's, it's good. Don't get me wrong, it, it does seem to be good, but I'm not that impressed with it. Now, people were telling me that there are some mods available. Right, so if the jetpack would give you the same running speed as the Blade Runners, the same jump capabilities as the Blade Runners, um, as well as having the flight thing, that would be good. And I would also be very interested in trying to find a mod that will allow me... Uh, not having the Blade Runners, that hurts jumping down there. Um, I would also be interested in having a mod that will allow more fuel to be put into the jetpack. Right, is there, is there such a thing? Can we have more fuel in the jetpack? That would be a very nice thing to know. Right, um, grab all, grab that, and run away from here. We go over to there. Right, I got two of those, so I can eat that, and then I can go there with that one. Eat those up. Right. So you can you can ach ach achieve a little bit of height, and then you can slowly bring yourself back in to land as well. But honestly, this jetpack does not seem to be all it's cut out to be. I would have thought that you would have two slots for your body. Right? That's, that's the bit that I'm confused about, is why don't I have two slots for the body? Yeah, jetpack and blade runners. That goes on my back. That's not on my legs. Right, I want the blade runners and I want that bit. I want the two of them combined. Uh, that would be an actual upgrade, not what I'm stuck with now. You know what? I'm, I'm getting rid of these. It's this just... I, I don't like this. It's, it's too slow. Look. See how fast I am now with the Blade Runners. I don't see any benefit to the jetpack at all. I mean, well, obviously there is a bit where you're jumping up and down. You're climbing up and down the levels. But it's such a... And there we have it, folks. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop things now because we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.